if we manage to come back from this, I'm gonna thank the apparition gods. If we managed... If we manage, wait a second. What is up, guys? This is gonna be a personalized YouTube video, just for me and my YouTube audience. Twitch is not here today, guys. Just me and you. So, like, I'm going into this. This is not pre-recorded. There's no seed involved. I'm just gonna go into it and hope. Not hope. I feel pretty confident I can make it happen. I'll show you why I feel confident in doing this. Today, we're gonna do a Century 15 Ironclad speed run. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I'm doing. And if some of you guys want to like play a little bit fast and play in a century routine, you can kind of do both. You gotta understand, like in speedruns in general, there are there's a lot of RNG involved where you're gonna get the run's gonna be cut short by something, right? Uh, and in particular, what I'm looking for for this speedrun with the new apparition event, the Council of Ghosts, this really makes it so you don't have to think as much and you can play a lot more freely. So we're gonna hope that we get that event, but we're still gonna be playing fast up until we get that event. So let's go ahead. Since 15. All right, ready? Set. Okay, well, I'm not going for world record or anything like that, but I'm just gonna play a fast run. We're gonna kind of just go through it. Whoa. Um, that wasn't me. I'm not sure who lost before the first boss. It definitely wasn't me. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix somebody else's mistake. Was it you? Hope not. And we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. So anger got buffed. Do we try the new anger? Let's try it out. Fuck it. Let's go. We need to do it from first turn, ideally. All right, we didn't get it. I should pop. Oh, you know what? Too big. Oh, that's perfect. We're doing demon form, and we're gonna pop the anger because anger is actually buffed a little bit. I mean, it's not the best buff, but it's still a buff, right? So I feel like we're gonna pop a defense here because we're gonna go ahead and get a lethal eventually. Well, obviously we're gonna get lethal event. Wow, we're one off. That's insane. So, if I knew that I was one off, I would have defended. Defended. Oh, that was kind of unfortunate. But anger is kind of interesting. Blue candle is interesting. We're gonna skippy skippy. We're gonna keep resting because we're getting cards for resting, and I like that. So we got offering. If I didn't, do the, if I didn't rest, I wouldn't have got an offering. I actually think. Wow. Guys, I actually think that Dreamcatcher. I used to always hate on it, but early game getting. Well, we have Blue Candle, <laughs> but that sucks. Getting cards that can help you form your deck early game is really important. We need to inform first turn, okay? Look for it, look for it, look for it. Look for it, look for it. Nah, we didn't find it. But we did a shit... <laughs> well, we did a shit ton of damage, though. We'll have a region pause. A little late. Um, actually, you know what? It's a perfect time to demon form. So not only do we do demon form, we got the anger to kill the one that we need to kill, and now we're just scaling up. And remember, we have... We have a region pot ticking away, and again, now we have anger to dump our strength. And this is kind of interesting that I've never really been utilizing anger before, but... Using anger to dump your strength is kind of interesting. It's actually extremely interesting. Wow, I'm kind of a fan of anger. If we get on season top, it's even better, obviously, but... Wow, 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 I'm liking it. I'm liking this. So, we, we got the, the two elites, no problem. Whirlwind's perfect to dump the strength. Obviously, armaments is really good, too. Let's go ahead and upgrade the arm. Oh, well, we didn't take armaments. Fuck. Um, upgrade Demon Form, because Demon Form is going to be what we're going to be using to scale against these, this guy in particular. And against the boss and because we have demon form we're actually gonna go for elites so demon form is hopefully not at the bottom of my deck okay so he's gonna wake up anyways you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just let him wake up i'm gonna use offering a turn where i get more impact out of it impact so i'm gonna go ahead and push for damage yeah we'll take 20 which sucks but this turn like this we're gonna be really good on terms of uh damage like wow Let's talk about it. Another shrug it off. So when you have demon form, the, the main thing you want to do is just defend, defend, defend. So things like Metallic has become a little bit better. Whoa. They changed the graphic of this. That's interesting. So removing cards is obviously really nice as well. And I think Singing Bowl is pretty good because you can use Singing Bowl as a... As, you can use health as a resource. So I'm going to do Singing Bowl and Metallic And I like this a lot. We're going to go ahead and upgrade... 
the Rampage now, because Rampage is also be another way to scale, although that's not really important. I would say maybe Metallic is more important. Because our whole thing now is to have consistent defense. So I'm taking out big, should've done a ton of damage. Got Demon Form out, that's fantastic. So we're gonna start stacking the anger, which is interesting to me. Like, I gotta be careful because the burns, but the anger's gonna dilute the burns a little bit. All right, so I think we should be good on damage. It might be really close, but I think we're like we're gonna get the damage right towards the end, like right when we need it. Like this, anger's gonna be huge here. Anger is massive there. Wow. Anger keeps becoming massive. Look at Anger go, guys. The new Anger is no joke. So I was going to go ahead and... Up the new Emulate as well. Yes, I want to show you guys the new Emulate. Runic Dome. Okay, it's a little scary, but not too bad. So this was going to be... <laughs> this was going to be me skipping around, but I, I you know, I, because the run's going so good, I'm decided to just stick with it. The Chosen is one of those girls where you really don't want to see, but here's the thing, guys. We're using Anger to dilute the birds a little bit. And the next thing we're looking for is, so so the way they change Emily is now that it goes, the discard goes into your, um, now the burn goes into your discard pile, which is really nice. That was really easy. Another struggle off. So Sever Soul becomes a little bit better with the burns, but we, if anything we want to evolve. Uh, Limb Break is interesting. We're going to go ahead and skip. This is what I'm talking about, the apparitions. Guys, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. This is the component, guys. You just bought apparition and you just go ham. You don't give a crap about anything. You just play the different form, get the apparitions out. Guys, just take a look at this. Look how OP and ridiculous apparition makes this. Now I got the scaling. Now I don't have to worry about damage. We have Runic Dome as well, but it doesn't even matter because we do things like this. Beautiful guys, it's beautiful. Apparition is my best friend. Just like that, guys. Non-stop. And we're going for as many leads as possible. Emily becomes fantastic. Look at Emily go. Skip. And now we have health as a resource, so singing bowls coming together because we're gonna have we already lost some max HP. And I didn't have full defense. I mean I have decent decent defense as, as it is, but because of apparitions that doesn't really matter, right? Look at it. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love it, guys. I love it. The only problem is we didn't get Demon Form out, right? So, because we're not Demon Form out, we're not getting that much scaling. But Rampage is scaling, which is something to look forward to. Woo! So clean, guys. So clean. Skippy, skippy. So Armage becomes a little bit better because if you go ahead and... It's just 20 damage for 2 mana, that's pretty crazy. Arm becomes a little bit better because if you go ahead and upgrade the Armaments, you can upgrade the Apparitions during the fight. So let's say you don't want to use all your Apparitions right away, Armaments will upgrade them and they won't exhaust themselves. So I do want to do Rampage, but I'd rather do Apparition take no damage. So now we got the Demon Form and now we just got to cycle into Apparitions, take no damage. And life is good, guys. There it is. So that's a decent amount of damage. So I could have defended a little bit of Gorman Tyler size, but I'd rather just push for damage. Wow, anger is fantastic. Scene red. Whoa, what is this? Body these are all upgraded. This is so weird. I've never seen this. Uh, I kind of want to do scene red, but I also just want to skip. But I've never seen that. All upgraded. We're always gonna be a good way to dump strength. War paint. Double apparition upgrade. What? The luck is on my side today, guys. Okay, so evolve. Fantastic. Dual wield becomes kind of interesting as well. Uh, flashy steel is not bad. Dual wield becomes interesting because you can create a power. You can read, do double the uniform, or you can do double metallicize. I like dual wield. I should be removing cards, but dual wield can be interesting. All right, so we gotta get apparition like we just did, and we gotta make sure we don't draw into demon form. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Oh, I just fucked myself over, guys. 
I just fucked myself over so bad. Oh, that's... Whoa, I forgot about Centennial Puzzle. Fuck. Not only is it a great combo, but I totally forgot about it. Oh, no. No, this is bad. This is real bad. Uh, luckily, we have Evolve, so it's not going to be that bad, but still, it's really bad. Whoa. Emulate's insane. The new Emulate is fantastic. We just didn't get Evolve out. Where is it at? There it is. All right, we're good. We got through the worst of it, guys. There's a demon form. Life is good. Don't gotta worry about a thing, guys. Don't have to worry about a thing. Apparition's out, demon form's out, and we gotta evolve for all the wounds and burns. And look at anger, guys. Anger is, is no joke. So even when I mess up and draw into demon form, I still handle this elite no problem. Double tap Fiend Fire or Burning Pack. This is interesting. So Fiend Fire could be a good way to dump strength, but I don't know if I like that. And Burning Pack, Double Tap. Double Tap could be interesting as well for the Whirlwind. Sure, we'll take the Double Tap, but I feel like we're making the deck too fat at this point. That's not necessarily a good thing. So like I said, I think Reckless Armaments is pretty decent, actually. To upgrade everything. Yeah, I'll do Armaments. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade Armaments Plus. It should be an easy fight. Oh, okay, we got the nuts, guys. We got the Demon Form Apparition first turn. Fantastic. And we also got Offering into Double Tap Bash. Whoa, wait. Even Double Tap Emulate is pretty nutty, actually. That's pretty nutty, guys. Wow, okay. Look at it. Look at the apparitions. Loving it. This event's awesome. Headbutt? Why are you getting so Okay, we'll take the headbutt. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade the apparition. I mean, the armaments. Alright, so we're going for the champ, guys. The first dirt apparition demon form. I mean, could you ask for anything else? And now at this point, you just want to do as many apparitions as possible, right? And just stack up. In fact, we can do with Metallica just for the hell of it. Because here's the thing, right? You're gonna be... You're gonna be, um, losing... Oh no, it's not Raid Form, never mind. Evolve, okay, fantastic. And we don't want to do anything, right? We want to just make sure that we don't take any damage, we want to scale up. Like, we don't necessarily need to save the Apparitions for the Excuse. we're gonna kill him with a one-shot. So I'm gonna put stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit of damage here and there just to get him buttered up, and then we're gonna go for the one shot once the once we scale up a demon farm. So here we want to actually start defending just because apparition has run out, and that's a little dangerous. But at this point, our strength is doing pretty well. Okay. So I would say. Now could be now could be the time to do the headbutt rampage shenanigans. Let's see. So that would proc him. I don't know if I want to proc him just yet. I'm actually gonna wait. I know that was a waste of rampage. I want to get a bash on first, like that. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start procking him. Getting dangerous, but we're trying to push for lethal now. Emulate helps a lot. Oh, there it is. There's the lethal. So we just scale up. Easy PC demon form win. Another demon form? Ah, uh, another emulate. I'm gonna go ahead and skip. If we got Snake Eye, it would be crazy, but... Uh, so we can go for Tiny House or Black Star. Let's go for Black Star because I think we have a decent deck for elites. Apparitions, demon form scaling, etc, etc. One elite, two elite. Got two elites over here, I guess. Yeah, that seems good. I like the late shot, but well, this actually seems like the better path because we get a couple rest and we get one elite. I don't have to go for crazy value, right? We're still trying to just do it quickly. And 
An apparition baby coming in clutch. Alright, it's not here now, but you know what? We got emulate, and emulate does a shit ton of damage. I mean, look at it. Emulate's insane. We got three turns of apparition, right? Now he's got to draw it back into world with an GG. You know what? We can just do this. We're gonna get lethal anyways, right? So there's no reason to be uniform. Because we have lethal here. Okay, okay. It took a long time there. Another shrug it off. Uh, maybe I should be getting max HP, but... I'm gonna skip that because we have a shop. Oh, we got the nuts, guys. So we lost two apparitions. That's really bad. You hate to see it. You really do hate to see it. Damn, I gotta push for damage. Because this guy... I don't have the luxury. There we go. There's the damage. Skippy, skippy. So, Funeral Pain's fantastic. The only problem with Funeral Pain here is that... Well, we're going against Donor Decker, so it's fine. But I was going to say, the only problem with Funeral Pain is we don't have... The reckless charge or anything, but we do have some discard here and there, some exhaust. I take up Funeral Pain even when I don't have a lot of exhaust, and also against Little Deck, I think Funeral Pain is just a great thing to pick up. So I'm actually gonna upgrade the Funeral Pain just because the Dunder Deck is gonna be fantastic. Nice. So we got the Evolve for the burns, and now we start pushing for damage, right? Yes, he might do a, uh, a hit here and there, but it's negligible. Demon form, headbutt for the rampage. We're in the clear, you guys. This is this is fantastic. Okay, this guy's a little annoying because he has his own intangibles, right? And I can't guarantee. I can't guarantee that I'm going to have lethal when he's ready to receive lethal, right? Well, this might be bad because um, he's probably doing like a 40 hit here. Yeah, that's a rough one. That's a big rough one. We're going to have to push for damage. I'm going to be honest. This is looking a little rough. So that's not lethal. That's 8 plus 30, 30... It's only 30 damage. So this might be a little rough. Oh boy. We got we got we got the intangible just in time. Because next turn we're gonna have lethal. But um Yeah, it's that was a scary elite. I'm glad I didn't do too many elites. Paper Frog's so worth it though. So Thunderclap becomes a little bit better. Strips the artifacts, etc. etc. This fight should be easy, relatively, if I just If I just get Apparition and get some AoE, I mean, I don't necessarily need to kill these little guys because they're going to explode themselves. The Apparition. But I'll do it just in case. Just in case I don't get Apparition on time. I, this guy might be killing me right now. Holy shit. <laughs> what did I just do? Oh my god, what did I just do? Oh boy. Wow, um I was fine. Uh let's do it again guys. Let's do it again and let's not do that little bonobo play at the end. But as you can see, I was making good time. But at least this time, guys, we have the whale bonus. And this is when it really, and I mean really counts. Random rare relic. Let's go. We got Gyrios. So we want to lift, 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 lift. Got one lift, two lifts, three lift only. Ah. One lift. 
to lift. Okay, so we, we don't get that many lifts, but... Gary is okay. I'll tell you this. Gary is okay. It's better than Silent because Silent can spam the strength of shivs for free. On the Ironclad, yeah. It's nice. The best way to do abuse with Ironclad, I would say, is to have Limit Break. So right now, we really want to get a Limit Break. Cleave is really good as well because with the strength, you're going to be wanting to use Cleave. Like an AoE like Cleave is really nice. And nice for dump strength. Unfortunately, I didn't go ahead and do that. And lifting is bad because you don't get upgrades, and upgrades are super important. I mean, it goes on and on. But imagine, though. Imagine we get... Wow, we got an upgrade. Perfect. I'm at, that's actually really good. Whoa, we got more upgrades. Okay, that's really good. But now we're low on life. So maybe that's not as good. Wait, wait a second. Maybe that wasn't good. Maybe that second one wasn't good. Uh, I'm gonna be honest here. So we were offered chemokinesis as well, which could be good for the elite. You know what? I'm I'm gonna lift because I want to lift, and I might just skip the elite because we're we're lifting so much. I think we're gonna skip elites. I know that's like the pansy move, but I'm not going to perfect a strike. We're going to remove a strike. So we're losing a lot of life here. Anchor's not bad. I'm going for another monster. Ooh, shop, shop would have been a freebie. But I'm not really in the business of getting freebies right now. I'm in the business of getting cards and lifting. And typically, I guess if you're going for a speedrun, you don't really want to go for elites. But I go for elites anyways, because the relics can help you a lot. And most of the time, the elites are not hard on the second half of the map. Uh, combust could be interesting. Although that is really synergized with my lifting. But we got lifting going, and I think we can handle an elite now. Just let's go for it. We can handle this. So Combust is very interesting, but that passive 5 AoE damage is actually going to make the fight la last less long, which in turn make me take less damage. So that guy's dead because of the Combust. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? So that guy's dead to Combust next turn, so I can focus all on this guy right here. Combust is interesting, guys. I'm telling you. Dead branch. Okay, well, that makes it unfair, guys. I got dead branch, and so now we're just looking for corruption. That's a little unfair. I'll be honest. I actually didn't want dead branch, because dead branch just makes everything such a, such a joke. But I mean, I'm rolling with, the, rolling with the punches. So if you happen to get a dead branch in one of your runs, guys, um, embrace it and feel very lucky. Because you hit the lottery. Combust is great for these kind of fights, right? So I didn't take the cleave, but I got Combust. So I'm like, you know what? We're good. Reckless Charge. Yes. Now we're going to go ahead and do another relief. I'm going to be honest. This might be a mistake, but I think we can handle it. We'll see. Alright, we did it. No problem. Easy lead. No problem. Easy peasy. Easiest thing in my life. Now we got a red skull. So not only do we have Gary, guys. We have red skull. So we're going to have six strength right now. Six strength just because we're below 50% life. I mean, that's insane. Look at the strength. Wow, these relics are insane. So Combust works with Red Skull. It's kind of nice synergy. I wasn't even planning for that, but it's it's a nice synergy for sure. Dead Branch coming in, baby. Dead Branch is looking hot and heavy. So we're taking day we're putting days into our deck, which is gonna give us more dead branch, random dead branch.
We're on a timer of combust, but it's not the it's not like the, the worst not the hardest timer to 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 deal with. So he's gonna die soon. I should probably consider blocking. But we're pushing for lethal here. And we got the lethal. So we didn't make that good of time. We see Ooh, so we got barricade or dark embrace. I would say we're going to be making a lot of excess block, and we already have so much strength that I don't need the demon form. And we take the Sozu. So we're at 6 minutes, so if we do everything within 6 minutes, we can get like a sub-20 minute run, which is pretty decent for such a routine, I would say. And we're going to go for all the elite just because we have Dead Branch, and <laughs> if we find Corruption, then we're just like in the clear. Combust is really good in this fight, so is the uh, flame barrier, as you guys can see. Combust is actually really useful, it's insane. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So true is going to be fantastic with the... With the we got apparitions. I've been telling you guys, you take apparitions all the time. I don't know why I'm getting lucky with the apparitions, but we are. Because not only do we get dead branch, now we have like combust rupture. Okay. We got barricade. So barricade apparitions is something you really want to take a look at, guys. I mean, it's actually insane. So you just use barricade with the apparitions to buy time for your entrenched shenanigans, and you just win the game. Run is looking interesting so far. Looking for corruption. We got Phenol Pain, which is going to work really nice, right? So we didn't get the corruption, but Phenol Pain is really nice as well with the barricade stuff we're doing. Limit break, and we got an entrench in the deck. Wait a second. More apparitions? Are you serious? Whew, that branch is insane. Clap it up for Dead Branch in the chat, guys. I mean, in the uh, YouTube comments. <laughs> Alright, so now we got Barricade out. So now we just block up and life is good. Look at that. Easy peasy. That's an entrench. Alright, uh, this is gonna be a fun run, guys. It's gonna be real fun. I want you guys to enjoy this one. Feed. The feed value. There's probably no reason not to take the true grits, but I'm gonna upgrade the barricades to barricades cheaper. And once we get the barricade out, things are gonna get insane, guys. Carnage, easy peasy. So now we got Dark Embrace with the Funeral Pain. We seen the barricade out, which is not coming out just yet. I don't know where it is. There it is. Okay, so now we just now we just do the apparitions and. Now we wait, right? We wait until we can... So now we have to barricade out any apparitions for four turns. So now we just start scaling up. Well, the thing is, I'm supposed to be scaling up with, like, um... Strength, but we already have three strength to begin with, so that's decent enough, right? We could also scale up with block, so this boss is time to get block. Obviously, we don't have entrench, so we need more dead branch shenanigans. I just use double tap for nothing. 
Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. This is dangerous. So, because I used double tap on nothing, that was kind of a mistake, but we still end up winning. But it was just a little scary, but still, that was, it's taking a little longer than I wanted to take. I'm, actually, I'm having to think a little bit more than I want to. Like, the whole dead branch thing is making it a little bit harder for me. I want to take one spot weakness just to get that on the scaling side of things. And let's go ahead and upgrade the funeral pain because that's going to be a good source of block. And we want to make sure... We got corruption. All right, GG. We got corruption. GG, <laughs> my friends. Give me some kind of energy gain so I can go ahead and use Funeral Pain. Please. Got the barricade, guys. It's GG. It's GG, my friends. Oh, we got Exhum for the apparitions. And we got Funeral Pain. Okay, it's GG. That's what I'm talking about, guys. So we have four turns of being vulnerable, right? And now we got the barricade and got the funeral pain. So this is like very foolproof in terms of how to win. Obviously, we got dead branch corruption, which makes everything super ridiculous. It's almost it's kind of hard to say like, oh man, like I don't know. It's kind of hard to use this as an example. If you guys saw the previous one, I was I was doing just fine without dead branch corruption. But this is more about how good is Apparition and on the Ironclad. Alright. Easy peasy. Metallicize. Skippy skippy. So again, we're going for as many leads as possible. Um, we want to maximize our block, so the f I think we need, a, we need to entrench now. Alright, good first turn in Apparition. There's the Barricade Apparition, so obviously we want to use the Flame Barrier, but we want to get the uh, Barricade out as well. That one hurts. <laughs> that hurts a lot, actually. Oh, but we're good now. We got through the worst of it, guys. All right, we got through the worst of it. We got, now we got Block and we got Apparition, so this could buy us enough time. It was scary at first, but now we're good. Nice. Okay, okay. Shuriken. We got the Entrench Plus. Now, apparently I've been saying Shuriken wrong. Is it Shuriken? Shuriken. Shuriken. I guess that's correct. Shuriken. I'll be honest, this is actually harder than an Elite. This fight right here. Okay, maybe it's not. Apparitions is not harder, but it can be. As you guys can see, it can be. And we're living on the brink of death, right? Wow. <laughs> wow. Living on a prayer. And night and day, got my heart can't sink it, but this is what I say. So now we're good. We got the apparitions, and we can buy time with the the block. Like, it's only the first couple turns that are the rough, which is really, which is really good. It's really nice that I have anchor because my first turns are the worst. More elites, more flame barriers. Okay, we got this. Uh, I'll be honest, probably not the most ideal first turn opponent, but you know what? We got the anchor and the flame bear, so not bad. I don't want to use that apparition just yet, right? I really hope that I can get the barricade out, otherwise we might be fucked. Okay.
Where is the barricade? Barricade, where are you? I have one more turn to find barricade. There it is. Jesus Christ. Couldn't come any sooner, right? Okay, so we got a head start on the block, and we now we just gotta get in trench out. Otherwise, we might be dead here. Oh, we got Apparition again, so we are saved, guys. We are so saved. It's unbelievable. So we can go ahead and use Demon Form, or we can just keep blocking, right? Oh, we're so saved, guys. That one Apparition made it so that my block does not leave me. So I can go ahead and probably kill this guy. Easy. Easy. So this takes a little bit longer, but this is very interesting. Interesting use, right? Um, let's go ahead and upgrade the True Grip. Alright, so this guy should be pretty easy as long as I can get the barricade going. Okay, so we didn't get the barricade going, but we can still find our apparitions. There's one of them. See, the thing is, these guys are going to steal my... <laughs> They're gonna steal my barricade, which sucks. That guy stole it, okay. I had a feeling, and they also took my flame barrier. See, I wanted to use Sever Soul to kill him, but I also don't want to. Maybe I shouldn't Sever Soul to kill him. That was a mistake. Fuck, we're one apparition away from doing this. Oh, next time we have apparitions, so we're fine. We're fine. We have apparition for the hyper beam. Wow, this is the one HP victory. Holy moly. Holy moly. The scariest goddamn thing I've ever had to be part of. Wow. Wow. Good thing I didn't do combust, right? Now we got entrenched, so we're a okay. Ho! Oh, that was so scary. All right, we're a okay, guys. Just in time. Just in time. Okay. So regular charge is a nice way to dump strength for free. No, I almost killed myself. Holy crap, I almost did it again. <laughs> Anger dumps the strength, guys. Okay, GG. Whew, that was intense. Feed Juggernaut Berserk. Ah, uh, we'll skip. So we can do Runic Dome, which makes sense, because energy is fine, right? And all we need, we don't have to worry about the intense because we have our, uh, apparitions. Or we can do the, or we can do the Astrolab. I don't know, it's rough, because, yeah, I'll do Astrolab. I would say Runic Dome probably is the best, though, but we get a pretty decent value. We got Emulate plus Bloodletting and ghost armor, okay. So if we get corruption, then blood is really useful. So what we wanna do is find corruption, so we wanna go for as many shops as possible. One, one shop over here, one shop over here. Uh, okay, that's kind of unfortunate. Two shops, ah, two shops, that means two chances.
very nice first turn. Oh, that guy's one HP. Come on. Done. Easy peasy. This arm is so good against the Awakened One. Corruption, GG. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Now let's have some fun, right? So now let's get the shrug it off. Uh, blue candle could be interesting. Or we could do Omamori. I mean, there's a lot of things we could do. There's a lot of things we could do. Second wind becomes interesting. All right, we're good. We're good to go. Whoa, this is good for speed running, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've never done that before. I've never done it before. We're so ready, though. We're so ready. Are we? I think so. I think we're ready. <laughs> we gotta just get Barricade out, and then Barricade and Trench is gonna carry so hard, guys. Just gotta get it out there. Just gotta get the Barricade out there, guys. Once we get the Barricade out, life is good. I've never got that before. I mean, I have, but I've never done it, but I'm actually doing it. It's happening. Ooh. Ooh. What, are, what turn is this? What? Wow, what a turn. Wow, both my powers that I need to play are on the first turn. I should have not taken the portal. Why did I take the portal? If we manage to come back from this, I'm going to thank the apparition gods. If we manage, if we manage, wait a second. So bloodletting kills me, unfortunately. Un offering kills me, unfortunately. If we manage, if we flip and manage right now. If we flip and manage right now, I'm gonna... Guys, if... Guys, I don't know what to say here. This, if this, and... Tell me Apparition, if I win this, tell me Apparition is an OP. Tell me it is an OP. Woo, boys, I'm losing my shit right now. I'm losing my shit right now. Oh, wait, because what if it plays Bloodletting? I can't, because if it plays Bloodletting, I'm dead. Ho. Ho. Did we go for Berserk? Yes, Berserk value. I'm scared we're gonna run out of skills. So many corruptions, what is this? So dual wield Reaper is so good. Wait, I wish I could use Reaper right now, but I can't because it's bugged. But if I can use Reaper, that'd be fantastic. Impervious helps a lot. Let's get rid of Bloodletting, because that's bait. Until we get Reaper out, at least. There's the Reaper. We could also just kill, but let's do Reaper just to heal up a little bit. Let's bring back the the Entrench. Or the... Actually, you know what? We can bring back Entrench or we can bring back Sentinel. Let's bring back Sentinel. Oh my god, dude. Limit break. 
This is it, guys. It's lethal. This is lethal. We did it with one HP. Oh my god. 25 minutes, first off. 25 minutes. Not a good score, because we, we went straight to the boss, but 25 minute run, guys. Obviously, it's Death Edge Corruption, so it's hard to be like super hyped about it, but wow, 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 wow. That was some intense stuff. I've never had that something so close. Apparition, you live on the edge. But damn, does it feel good when you get out alive. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.